Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to use Paint 3D with PowerPoint. But before that, let's watch this. What if you need to edit video, merge, crop, cut, trim, add subtitle, convert or compress video for mobile, process large side videos seamlessly and much more? Winx HD Video Converter Deluxe is a good alternative to the open source handbrake. It is an all-in-one video software that can convert any video to MP4, AVI, MKV, HEVC and other 200 plus formats on Windows and Mac. It supports 370 plus built-in video audio codecs and has faster process speed due to level 3 hardware acceleration. You may click on the giveaway link where you can find information about how to download it for free. For more info, check details in the video description. So this is the output. This is the PowerPoint template that we have created. And look at this cube that is revolving and moving as we as we move to the next slide. And this really looks awesome. To create something like this, we have used Paint 3D. It's an inbuilt app in Microsoft Windows. Here you can insert a cube, change its color. So it's a very easy tool. It's very simple. There is nothing complex in it. Very simple options where you can insert shapes, edit text, and also insert icons on, and stickers. So here we have used this light color as we need a metallic look here. I have already created a text based template. Now I have just pasted the cube in my PowerPoint slide from Paint 3D to ensure that it looks good. Now we will add some icons in it. For that, we need to click on the stickers, insert stickers. So I have already added. Or you can say downloaded these stickers let's place it at the center so a cube has six sides so we need six stickers so i've already downloaded these icons from microsoft powerpoint now i am just rotating the cube and adding these icons on all its sides So you can change the size of the icons as well at the top right under sticker settings. So Paint 3D is free. It's there on the it's there in your Microsoft Windows. You just need to search Paint 3D and it's there. So it's a very useful tool and in Microsoft PowerPoint, we can insert 3D objects as well. Because PowerPoint, the latest PowerPoint version that I'm talking about is Office 365 PowerPoint. It supports 3D shapes and 3D format shapes. So what we are doing is we are designing a 3D shape in Paint 3D and then we will copy and paste that shape in the Microsoft PowerPoint. So now you can see uh, I have added icons on all its side except these two sides. So it's really easy. You don't have to get confused like how to do this. Also, you can add custom stickers as well. You can design stickers in Adobe Illustrator and then insert here. It has some pre-built stickers as well. Those also you can use. So it's a very easy thing to do. And the purpose 
here is to do something different this time in the PowerPoint. Also, the 3D object when inserted in the PowerPoint slide, and then you copy it on all the slides and rotate it on each of the slide, then apply morph transition, then you will see the magic. And that's what and that is what we are trying to teach here in this video. So once we have all the icons settled here, we will insert this cube in our PowerPoint slide. Now you can see that everything is done. So it's basically a 3D shape. It's not that 3D square that we create in PowerPoint. That's something different. Here it's actually a 3D shape, 3D format. So I'm just here figuring out like everything is good. Now just paste it and you can see the kind of reflection it has. So we have choose the metallic option. In Paint 3D you can choose the color style. It has like gloss, matte, then metallic. So these kind of these kinds of options here. So this is the cover slide like I have created. Here you can place it like this. Then on the next slide, you need to copy it, paste, and showcase the first item here, like this, this icon, and write your process or information that you want to showcase. It could be some facts or stats, or anything you want to showcase. So it's a very simple and plain template because I wanted to keep it very minimal so that the focus is on the text and this cube only because here the purpose is to help you understand how it works. That's why I tried to keep it simple and it looks really nice. This metallic color is coming out really nice in the white background. You can also create it in the dark background or you can create something more colorful. It's totally up to you how you want to take it. And, and you must try these 3D options if you have Office 365. I'm not sure if the previous versions of PowerPoint allow 3d objects but if you have the latest version try it and in paint in paint 3d you can design lots of 3d shapes it's not the cube only there you can design lots of options of course the options are very limited in paint 3d because it's a very basic tool but yeah it serves the purpose very well like this cube each side signifies something so here we can show different things here so currently i have written some dummy text also you will notice this time i have used different text styles on each slide so when you will download the template you can also use these text styles so i have placed cube on all the slides and rotated it now you can see i'm trying to uh, present the best angle of the cube so that the front icon is visible and there is enough light and the shade is perfect that's what i'm trying to do here so now comes the last slide here we have to showcase it something like this so that at least three icons are visible. Now all the slides are done. Let's write thank you or thanks or 
you can add some brand information here so this is just a plain template you can add your contact info your logo and all those things here and and the powerpoint has this functionality of adding 3d shapes makes it one of the best tool out there in the market i'm not sure if you ever tried using 3d shapes in powerpoint but this is really a good concept you must try it i'm not sure if there are online sites where you can download 3d shapes for free or even 3d animated shapes or uh, 3d rigged models so you can also try those in powerpoint so once you have added cube on all the slides you may you have to make sure that all the items are ungrouped because for the morph transition to work beautifully you need to ungroup all the items so i have ungrouped all the text items and now you can select all and press morph under the transition step like this and the magic is done now you can watch this final animation so here we go so if you have liked this beautiful concept then please subscribe to our channel like the video share this video within your circle and network and also you can join the membership there is a red join button if you are logged in on youtube please support us and thanks for watching